Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about all the new stuff that I do, and I guess also the old stuff. So everything basically that I do now when I sleep in my car. If you guys haven't really watched a lot of my videos or if this is the first video that you've watched of mine, I've been sleeping in my car on and off for about five or six years. And I've been sleeping in my car even more often this year. In January was the last time I actually lived in an apartment. And I've been staying at friends' houses sometimes, but a lot of times I've been sleeping in my car as well. And I have a teeny little car. I have a Toyota Yaris, Yaris, whatever. I'm from New York, we say Yaris. And it's really, really small and if I knew that I was gonna be traveling before I bought my car I probably would have bought a bigger car but I didn't I bought this car this is the only car I've ever owned and about six months later is when I started traveling and then about a year and a half later is when I started really sleeping in my car sometimes so this is what I have I did not want to sell it and get a new car I love this car it's really easy to travel with it gets really good gas mileage it's super easy to park it's a hatchback it's like this big and I love this car so I have wanted to make it work being able to live and sleep in this car. So in last week's video, I talked about the only two places that I will sleep in my car. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll throw it up. I think it's over here. I don't know, but I'll throw it up in the cards for you guys to watch it. And then in that video, I mentioned that I was going to give you guys an updated, like how I sleep in my car, what I do, any new things that I do to kind of uh, increase my comfort level and safety level and things like that. So in this video, I'm not gonna do everything because if you can tell, it's like, daytime i have full face of makeup on but i'm definitely going to show you enough that you get the idea of what i do whenever i sleep in my car so first of all the way that i sleep in this teeny little car i don't lean the seat back i used to and i've done it a few times but i prefer laying across my front seats and it's probably only about four feet wide and i'm short i'm about five two and a half so most of my body can fit but i can't stretch my legs out which sucks but I usually kind of sleep curled up a little bit anyway, and it's just usually okay. And then I do definitely wake up a few times in the middle of the night, but I do that even when I sleep in beds or on couches. I just wake up a lot when I sleep, but when I sleep in my car, I wake up maybe, I guess it kind of depends, maybe three or four times a night, and I will stretch my legs. When I'm lying down, I'll kind of just put my legs up and stretch them kind of like corner them usually like over here and just kind of stretch them out a little bit that way just to just to stretch my knees and my hips a little bit so essentially the first thing that i do is i have to clean my front seat so i guess the rest of this video is going to kind of be me holding the camera and i don't know i hope it like doesn't get dizzying because i don't know what i'm going to be doing but so i just make sure that the front seat is clean the floor does not need to be clean look pretzels chipotle that can stay there that's fine this needs to be clean you know what even this does not need to be clean sour patch kids live there i like I like snack foods a lot. Can you tell? So, um, and this is like a face mask. Anyway, so basically the only thing that really needs to be cleared off is this seat and then obviously the driver's seat, but that's going to be cleared off anyway because that's where you sit. So this is very close to my face. <laughs> so that's the first thing that I do because usually when I'm driving, there's stuff there. I keep like food there when I'm eating it while I'm driving or just when I'm living in my car. Like I keep my food there. I'll keep my computer there. So I always just put it in the back seat, put it on the floor. So that is completely cleared. Okay, then actually I'm gonna put you guys down again. So then the next thing that I do, actually right here, like right in between here, in the back of these seats, but on the floor, I found that that's the easiest place to put uh, the stuff that I need while I'm sleeping. And so that's where my pillows and my blankets are. So I have them in those little space saver bags and I just take them out. I use two pillows, like two full size pillows. So I take, them out of the space saver bag. And I put one that covers, I'll show you guys, but I put one down um, and then I use one as an actual pillow. So I put one down, I just kind of put one to the side for now. And then the next thing that has completely like changed the game for me sleeping in my car is, oh, you, I don't think you can see it, is a camping sleeping mat. So let me get it really quick. So this thing, I don't know what brand it is, don't know anything about it, but I'm going to link it below because I love this thing. I got it on Amazon, it was like 40 bucks, and it I got it for camping um, because I was camping a bunch a few months ago, and it's just, you know, it's kind of rough sleeping on the ground for a few nights. So I got this camping mat, like I said, it was only about 40 bucks or so, and it is, it's maybe like an inch thick, but you blow it up. And then so it gets even like, you know, mushier. So I'm not gonna do that now because I'm not actually sleeping in my car right this second. So I don't need to do that right now. But here, so let me pick you guys up again. 
So I put the one pillow down. Okay, can you guys see that? So I put the one pillow down on the seat and then I put this over it. And why I do that is because the seats in most cars, at least in my car, they divot. Like, so your butt fits in them. And so your seats are not just flat across. It's kind of like this. And so I realized that putting a pillow under there, and maybe one day I'll get another pillow even to put it under this seat, because that's where I put my head over there. So I just feel like it flattens it a little bit and it makes it much more comfortable. So then I put this sleeping mat over it. And like I said, I blow it up. It makes it like extra mushy. It's very comfortable. It's comfortable for camping as well. And I kind of, let me put you down again. This is the tricky part because I never get out of my car to do this part. I always just do it while I'm still in the car. So I'm like, I just stretch it out and then, uh, and then, okay, there we go. Okay, all right, okay. So then I put my other pillow on top. So this is what it's gonna look like. The sleeping mat, the one pillow under there to even it out, the sleeping mat, and then I put my other pillow. And then, of course, if you guys think I forgot, I put my stuffed animals over here as well because I sleep with them, especially when I sleep in the car because I use them as pillows. Actually, I use Biscuit as like a pillow, like an extra pillow, and I use cornbread. Listen to this. This is how handy cornbread is. I put him upside down, and I put my phone there so I can watch YouTube before I go to sleep. Let me show you how talented he is. Look, he just holds my phone. <laughs> and so I can watch YouTube or whatever before I go to sleep. So he's very handy. So I put those guys there and I put that down. And so if you guys watched like the video of mine that has the most views, the like how I sleep in my car video. Um, I talk about sleeping like this. I did it about four years ago is when I started like really doing it, four or five years ago, which it was just kind of right after I started sleeping in my car. But I did lean back for a little while and then I started doing this. The one thing that really does that I mentioned in that video that still kind of does bother me is the seatbelt buckly things but usually I can like maneuver myself that they're not bothering me because mine don't move where they like disappear they're always gonna be poking me in one way or another so the sleeping mat does help a lot and then like I said if I just kind of maneuver a little bit I can get around them and so that is how I sleep and I just lie down and here I'll show you look just do this okay so then I lie down I hang out with these guys and um, like I'll show you how much room I have on my legs hold on so my legs definitely like, I couldn't straighten them. I can straighten them if I go over here. So if I really need to like stretch, I'll just put my legs over here. But if I want them just in front of me, I have to do this, which is fine. Like it's just, it's fine. It's what I have to do and it's not too uncomfortable. Before I was using my sleeping mat and I was sleeping like this, especially cause I'm a little bit older now. I know I'm not that old, but I'm 31 and I've been sleeping in my car for a while this way, especially without the mat. So my body's just, you know, a little extra achy maybe. And so before I started using the mat this year, I'd wake up like once a night with one of my legs like completely dead, like completely numb because of just how the pressure points and everything on the seats and the seatbelt buckles and all that kind of stuff. But after I started using this mat and the pillow under it, it really, really has helped. So let me sit up and tell you the rest of what I do. So the other things that I do that I can't actually show you right now because I don't have them with me is that I hang up towels. Like I have those really thin camping towels. I have two of them. And I hang up one on that window and one on this window. And I actually use these pins um, to hang them up. I just have a bunch of pins like this. This is Charles Bukowski, who I love. I have one of his quotes on my leg. But I just have a bunch of these pins on my ceiling and I use those to hang up the towels and that gives me a little bit of privacy and honestly I still don't have like a cover for my front window a lot of you guys always ask me if I hang up curtains or whatever and for a few years I just didn't I didn't care I just really 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 did not care but I guess maybe as I got a little bit older as I just started doing it more often I was like okay maybe at least I should put up something just put up something so I started hanging up the towels and that's worked out totally fine and I'm going to get some kind of uh, thingy thing for the front windshield as well. I just haven't done that yet. But so yeah, so this is how I sleep. This is my new sleeping mat and stuff. I'm going to link that below. I don't need to link anything else below because I just have pillows and just any kind of towels, but honestly anything. If you have curtains, if you have t-shirts, if you have whatever, just hang them up. And then like I said, get that. Everybody has those like sun protectory things. I just don't have one, but that's great for privacy, but also for darkness because I sleep. Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you guys because I want you guys to watch last week's video, but where I sleep, I like to sleep where there's a lot of light. So sometimes the lights kind of 
glare into your face. But then also waking up to the sun, it gets really hot and things like that. So having that kind of cover does help. And that's honestly about it. That's really, really it. It's just the only thing that I've really changed. Actually, I've changed everything. I never used to hang stuff up and now I do. And then seriously, using this sleeping mat has really helped me. I know that a lot of you guys, if you're sleeping in your car, a lot of you guys probably have bigger cars and you can put a bed in the back or something. But this is what I have and I love my car and I'm gonna keep it until the day it dies. And so I needed to make it homey for me. I need to make it feel comfortable for me. And I don't know why I put comfortable in quotes. I don't really like that word, but for other reasons. Comfortable while you're sleeping, I think, is, is important. <laughs> I don't like the word comfortable when you're talking about, like, in your comfort zone, that kind of stuff. But I think it's important to be comfortable while you're sleeping. Sleep is very important. So, especially when I'm living in my car and sleeping in my car, it's harder to be comfortable. Therefore, it's harder to get a good night's sleep. Therefore, it's just gonna affect your body. So the sleeping mat has really helped. Putting the pillow under has really helped. And that's what I found so far that has helped. How many times am I gonna say help in like three sentences? But it has drastically changed my sleeping game versus just sleeping over the seats, having the pillows and the sleeping mat and, and my little babies my little babies. I love them. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments any other videos that you want to see, any questions that you have for me. I still have not done a Q&A in like months because you guys do just not have any questions for me anymore. Am I not interesting to you or just have I answered everything you need to know? Because that's ridiculous. You guys don't know like my favorite beach. You guys don't know like if I'd ever go to outer space or not. Like you guys don't know so many things about me, but are you just not interested in me anymore? Did I become boring? <sighs> But so yeah, please leave me some questions. Please leave me some comments and let me know in the comments how you sleep in your car just so other people who are reading the comments can get suggestions as well. Or if you guys have small cars like I do, is there anything else that you do to like increase your comfort level? Let me know in the comments. And subscribe if you're not already. I'm putting out videos on Tuesdays and then some Fridays as well about travel and then Fridays are just sometimes not travel. And that's it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, the inside of my elbows are sweating. That's how hot it is in Portland today. Oh, I'm in Portland, by the way. I don't think I told you guys. I'm in Portland. I was in San Diego last week, left, came to Portland. Staying with my friend Ashley. And uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to be in one of my videos either later this week or next week or something. So, yay. Bye. Ooh.